on YouTube is a video about my Proxmark free uh, device that I got from the China via the internet. Um, it's a FED reader that uh, is a fairly small device. Um, it can read both uh, 125 kilohertz and 13.65 LF56 megahertz. Uh, so there's two antennas uh, that is connected by this cable over here to the left port and the high frequency port. You can see it on the antenna, high frequency and low frequency. Uh, there's a USB cable for connecting to the computer and uh, that's coming as a COM port. Uh, and on my device, uh, computer is coming as COM port 25, 24. Um, so that's a device fairly small. Um, underneath, I would not remove it now, but you can place a battery and connect it up here so you can turn off and on with this uh, small switch here and have it battery powered to collect data in, in when you're moving and maybe use the device around other IFD readers when trying to connect to it. So let's uh, go to the application. So the application here is a dust prompt where we can load the prox mark free application and tell it that's com port 24. It's uh, telling us here with the interface that uh, it's connected and the version and the free RAM and so on to on the device. Um, so we can have that. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of built-in commands. You can get them all here. Um, the first command you can use is the is the low frequency um, search command. Um, and here I have a tag, a small FED tag that is uh, commonly used for uh, door access. Um, yeah, many is using them. There's much. Uh, there's not much uh, security in them, as there's only a ID number inside. Um, but let's try to read this tag. So I'll place this around one centimeter over the antenna, the low frequency antenna. I will execute this LF search command. You can see on it is reading the device and saying it's a EM410X type. And here's the device, uh, the, the ID number of the of the tag. Um, and that's that's what in in the tag. That's the information down here. So uh, there's not much uh, information and code in in the small tags like this. Um, for another one is as a smart card style. You can see here's the, uh, there have been some nice to enter the number of the, the card. So, so this is the card number. Uh, here's my label with the information, but it's, it, this is encoded and here you have the card number and the facility which uh, location is used. So let's read this card. So I'll place this again around one centimeter over the LF antenna. Oh. Let's use this LF search. You can see it's found the uh, it's a valid hit proxy device. Uh, let me move this. And you can see it has written the number here with the card ID and the facility number is 118 for this uh, card. Um, and you can see the card numbers written here under the card. And again, this is a simple card in, in the low frequency realm. So here's another tag type. It's a animal identification tag. It's a small tag. It's uh, you can see it here on my finger. 
it's normally injected under the skin of animals so this is the ID number and no no animal has been hurt in this uh, in this video it was uh, bought on the internet and is unused uh, and not registered in this place so uh, f in order for the reader to read it it has to be placed with the uh, tag uh, like this evenly over the each side of the coil so let's try if we can read it we could so over here you see it's uh found this animal id tag with the id numbers uh, country code 900 and and the id number below and and so on so you, you can buy this and and use and then you have to register which country and and uh, animal and so on is, is in your database when it's used uh, but uh, please use a veterinarian for that stuff um, so here's another card uh, high frequency uh, my fair card um, they are a bit more complex there can be a lot more information in them so let's do a high frequency search um, again placing the card around one centimeter above the reader uh, moving a little up here you can see it has found it that uh, a valid uh, card in uh, 14433 slash 4 and here over here you have the ID number for the card so let's try to read this card um, the first thing we need to is to to get the uh, the keys because on, on cards like this information is stored in each there's 16 sectors and each sector has an A and B key and you have to uh, give it the correct keys uh, and I don't know the keys for this card so what we can do is we can ask the to check um, this card for the if any of the sectors have this uh, standard uh, there's some standard keys like uh, FFF to read this card so let's try and see if they can recognizing it. So now it's trying the different keys. So what we see here is that it has found this uh, key FFFFF found in the is used as a valid key for some of the sectors. What this means is that we can use this for attacking this card with uh, what's called a nesting attack where it's in crypto key is used as the same for all the sectors but we know now know the keys for some of the sectors and we can then uh, by this tool calculate this other um, keys that's used for each sector so we tell it high frequency my fair card nest one zero b So here we have told it that to, it's using the nesting function um, and, and using that as a B key because we can see here it's a B key it has found that one and, and there's the, the ID number, well, the valid key we are using and the entity here is telling it to dump the key information to disk to a file that is called uh, dumpkey.bin So let's try this command on this card So as you can see here, it has read the, the 16 sectors and has found that the, almost all of them is having the default FFFF key, except the sec last sector is having this uh, uh, 
four four seven five two four f five 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 o three key as the a key and it has now put the key information into this file so when you're using the next command that is trying to dump this card into the to the disk we can use that one so I forgot my fair dump one so this command will try to read the card with the key information that we have just uh, found. It didn't go well, so let's try that one more time. So it successfully read the key, uh, Ella, the data from the card. You can see it has uh, written Ella, read each sector and each block of data from the card. Um, So in order to read this uh, um, dump data bin, it is a binary hex file that is not so easy to write but it'll read, but they have here a script that is nicely converting. It's a Lua script that is converting the dump file into a human readable uh, HTML file. So let's do that. So now it's telling us it has written this uh, file. And let's look at that one. So here we can see it has uh, 16 blocks, and each block there's uh, the, the A key, the B key, and that's, that's for each of them. And up here you can see here's the ID number, and that's the ID number, and here's the SAC, SAC, and here's the A command key, yes, this key, and it's a MyFair Classic 1K information in this card. And in the, if we go down to the bottom here, you can see here it says read of the card information. Oh. Uh, the last uh, information here, and here you can see the uh, A key that was used for encrypting this information, or protect this information. And over here you can see the, the outprint of this uh, information that's stored inside this uh, block of text. So that's basically uh, a small demo of the of the Proxmark free card reader for AFE data. You can uh, clone and dump and read and simulate and sniff AFE data with this reader. So uh, I'm planning to come with more videos uh, as soon as I learn more um, and how to clone cards and so on and, and thank you for watching this video bye